Hey, did you know there's three tiers to purpose? There's three different levels. And if you don't know those three levels, then you're trying to build a practice and that takes way too long because building a practice happens one at a time. But if you want to create a legacy that lasts generations where patients not only adopt chiropractic as their primary health care, they teach it to their kids, who teach it to their kids, who teach it to their kids. Now that's impact. And it's very easy to grow your practice because you're not getting them one at a time. You're getting them three or five at a time. And that is impact. So let's go through these three tiers. Now, before we do this, people try and build on systems. Systems are in your head. And here's what I find in Elite. I, when I teach these purpose, these layers of purpose, and people get them in their head, they forget the steps in the system. Why? Because they're in your head. But when you take this purpose into your heart, you not only do you not forget, you can't forget because it's the only thing that you're focused on. And then you establish your core values, set your standards, and then have the systems. This is the most powerful business model that I've ever seen in chiropractic, and it builds lifestyle legacies that can grow very quickly if you want. So what's the third tier? This is the lowest tier. You're not just building a practice, you're building a legacy that affects of chiropractic healthcare that affects generations. Now, when you hear that, you're like, crap, that thing's huge, right? We wanna, we wanna help generations live chiropractic. That's big, but that's the third tier. So let's go to the tier above that. Well, how do we create a legacy that affects generations? We don't do the systems yet. We're still on purpose. Systems still has a way to go. What's the second tier? Our purpose is not to fix their back pain, obviously. It's not even to correct their spine. It's not even to help them heal of asthma or ulcerative colitis or diabetes or whatever it is, because that's healthcare. Meaning a patient has a health problem, they go to a doctor, you fix it, you fix the spine, you open up the spinal cord, the body heals because the new healthcare system is energy healing, which it's always been. And those organ problems get better like they always do, but that's why people quit. So what's our purpose on the second tier? We want to break generational patterns. What's that mean? Health patterns run through families. Posture patterns run through families. And that's why they're linked. Belief systems run through families. Diets run through families. You know, emotions run through families. I mean, there's all kinds of things that run through families. And when you take an x-ray of a parent, you look at the kid, man, sometimes they, you can practically overlay them. And you guys know this, you've been taking care of families. So when your purpose is not to fix their health problem on day one, you're looking, what's the results of the lifestyle they led and what's that generational pattern? What's the lineage? So two questions you ask on day one. Who did you get it from? So if you have an immune system problem, asthma, allergies, weakened immune system, you know, autoimmune disease, who did you get it from? Which one of your mom, dad, aunts, uncles? That was passed down through generations. Who did you get it from? And then you're going to see a pattern. Now, if you're trying to get a patient, you're missing the lineage. This is the lineage above them. Second question, who are they giving it to? This is the lineage below them. Now they have siblings and these siblings have nieces and nephews. So the siblings could be taking the pattern from, look at this, look at this body language could be taking the pattern. You're there to break generational patterns. So who did you get it from? Parents, do they live in the area? Are they still alive? Who are you giving it to? Do you have kids? Which kid is just like you? Because if mom has asthma or any type of autoimmune disease, do they have allergies, sinus problems? It depends on the age, on how far that condition has progressed. So then you do that in the consultation. And then in the exam, you know, you got left thrust translation, right? Right lateral flexion, rotation. You're going to see postural patterns. Kids mimic postural patterns. Their spinal patterns match. And now you're going to see hey, you know what, you got, you got a uh, left cervical translation, right lateral flexion posterior, right rotation of your cervical spine. 
That's massive stress. You got three dams in the river. No wonder your immune system is weak. Which one of your kids do you think has a posture like you? Which one of your kids is just like you? They already have beginning signs of immune weakness. They could be mimicking the same pattern, shutting down the energy in the spinal cord. Now their immune system isn't developing and they will suffer like you or worse with a, uh, with a weakened immune system your whole life. And that is a bold statement, but that is a fact. That is a fact because these kids say are growing up in a more toxic, screwed up, vaccinated world than their parents were. So they will have more problems eating GMO foods, you know, the whole thing, right? So now when we're looking for a pattern, we're not trying to get a patient. That's how, that's building a practice. That's doing it one time. Oh, here's your health problems. Who did you get these from? Who are you giving them to? And if you don't have kids, you have siblings. What about their kids? Because they're still, they're still taking those patterns from their parents right? Here's two parents. Here's four kids. Maybe this one has kids. Maybe this one has two kids. This one has three kids, right? You're looking, we need to break the pattern. I need to tell my brothers and sisters, I have nieces and nephews that are carrying that pattern into the next generation. Now, see when you do this, how easy is it to create a legacy? So you want to create a legacy that affects generations that are living chiropractic care. That means the next step up is Let's look at the systems to break generational patterns. Now there's one more tier. What's the next tier? We want to change the healthcare system. That's all. Just change the healthcare system. But guess what? You're in the best time ever. People are questioning medicine. They're questioning pharmaceutical companies. The more families and generations that we have living the chiropractic lifestyle, we take the parents and you have a relationship with their kids, and their kids grow up with chiropractic and teach their kids, and their kids grow up with chiropractic and teach their kids, man, that's like, you know, that's like a huge pyramid, right? It's just exponentially increasing with every generation, and you have a responsibility with your brothers and sisters and your nieces and nephews and your cousins and all these people that you give that person purpose and now they have a culture, they have a belief system, and they have purpose to, to make social change. That's called a movement. Now you give them purpose, you get them to think like you do, you get them to think that we can actually do this because people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world make a big freaking change. So let's create leaders. That's one of the core values. We create leaders, not patients to make generational change. So what are the three tiers of purpose that aren't in our head, but it's in our heart? We're creating a legacy that affects generations. How do we do that? Hey, right from day one, we look at breaking generational health patterns. And then why are we gonna do that? Because we wanna change the healthcare system with chiropractic at the tip of the spear. And we create purpose-driven patients. And hey, maybe we'll see it in our generation, maybe the next generation will see it, or maybe the generation after that, but the seeds you plant today are the ones that will be a forest in the next two generations. So let's take that. Hey, man, and I want to add also, when you look at x-rays, man, you're looking for patterns. You see a short leg, one of their kids have it. You see an anterior translation, flat and thrust curve, one of their kids have it. Posterior translation, hyperkyphosis, one of their kids have it. Man, uh, you do the constellation exam, then you look at x-rays, get the spouse there, and then you're talking, who, which one of your kids? Well, they're off to college or another state. Well, when are they coming home? Because they're going to fly home. They're going to come here and get x-ray because this is health for the rest of their life. Take that in your heart with conviction and you won't build a practice you are building a legacy that will not only break generational patterns, but can change the health care of generations. All right, that's the five-minute lifestyle mindset. Let's move from mindset to heart set, and let's make a, a bigger difference in healthcare today together. All right, love you guys. Peace.